Fade out one. Fade in three. Pizza Flicks Television Division presents... Dick Powell in A Place Full of Strangers. Something be done about that confounded noise out there? I'm afraid not, Mr. Manson. Wouldn't it be better if you worked at home for the next two or three days? Oh, that's out of the question. I've got to be here. Can you work with all that racket? Well, it's not so bad. Not so bad? What about the Bergson contract? I asked you to get it out yesterday. Well, I got it off last night. No, all right, all right, all right. About time. You've been driving yourself very hard. You need a vacation. Well, don't think I wouldn't like one, but who'd do the work around here? Get me Owens and tell Carvel and Brewster to get in here. If that noise doesn't stop, I've got to go out of my mind. You do need a vacation. Will you kindly do as I tell you? All right. Hello, Proctor. My son's still giving you a beating, hmm? Of course not. What am I going to do about him? He has been working very hard. Proctor, you have been making excuses for him for the past 20 years. Well, I know what a fine man he is. Besides, I'm very fond of him. Uh, so am I. Only that's not going to stop me from talking with him. Again? Again and again, if necessary. He's contributed a lot to this business. But he is not going to contribute his life. What is it, Father? Something I can do for you? Yes. Get away. Take a month off. A whole month, huh? Fleet, don't you understand what's happening to you? You're murdering yourself. Don't be so grim. I'm just a little overtired. I'll pull out of it. Well, get away. Get a rest. I can manage here. You've got some good men who can help me. Look, you wanted me to run the business. We're doing all right. Now, let me run it by myself. Oh, that's not the way I did it. Oh, come on. Now, what are you talking about? That racket! Well, nobody runs a business by himself, son. You, you get people. People you can trust. And then you use their help. You've got the people, but you're not using them. Come in! Think it over. I'll think it over. Oh, how do you do, Mr. Manson? Oh, Mr. Manson. Bruce Stenson. Uh, you're coming back with us, sir? I don't know yet. Miss Proctor, get me the file on the last shipment to Morgan Brothers. I got a report it arrived in bad shape, and I'd like to know who's responsible for it. Sit down. How are you, Fleet? I suppose you want to talk about the June advertising schedule? I want to talk about a couple of things, Owens. Sales and advertising. Two departments that operate as if the other didn't exist. Now, what's the answer? The heads of those departments don't have enough authority, Flynn. You've made them too dependent on you. They consult you instead of consulting each other. Now, you know, I've recommended this before. Let Caldwell and Brewster here work with each other. Be responsible for their own decisions. I've trained them both. They can handle it. It's just as simple as that. Simple? Nothing simple. Let me show you the rip. Every time you try to concentrate around you, somebody starts building a skyscraper. Oh, some other time, boys. Forget it now. Fleet, I thought perhaps you'd forgotten. You might want to look over these reports. Today's Friday and... I said some other time. And I've been waiting quite a while for you to check these papers. You heard me, Brewster. I said some other time. Do you mind? You okay, Fleet? Of course I'm all right. Why don't you mind your own business? All right, I will. And you mind this business. Yes? It's Mrs. Manson on the telephone. She's on line three. Hello, dear. What is it? Well, I don't know when I'll get home. Why don't you go on without me? Get somebody to take you. Well, of course you can, dear. 
Well, I told you I'd try to make it, and I've done my best, but it just didn't work out. What? What did you say? Dear, will you please try to understand that I run a business, and I'm not going to let our social functions compete with it. I don't care whose party it is. I don't want anything from anybody. I just want to be left alone. Hello? 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 Were you cut off? No, she hung up. Shall I get her back for you? That's too late now. You may go, Miss Proctor. Can't they let me alone? Caldwell, Owens, Brewster, Proctor, all of them. Even my father, everybody. I'm sick of them. Everybody in the whole world. I gotta get away. I've got to get away. I gotta get away. Madam Roundtree. I've never traveled by bus before. This is the first time. Yeah, I hope you enjoy the trip. I certainly expect to. This will be my first vacation in ten years, and I'm going to make the most of it. Yeah, that's a nice way to travel. What time's the next bus leave? Where to? Wherever it goes, I'm not particular. Well, there's one in exactly 33 minutes. One ticket, please, one way. Make it the end of the line. Oh. Well, that's me, Brooke. $8.35. Bus leaves at 6 o'clock. Gate 4. Excuse me, is this your book? No, it isn't. Excuse me, I, I think I left that book. Oh, I was just getting interested. Sorry. It's all right. Not your fault. Thank you. Oh, philosophy, huh? Takes a lot of concentration. You a student, or do you just read it for pleasure? No, I'm just trying to understand it. Oh, oh. Marsha, Marsha. That's a very attractive name. How'd you know it? Your book. Names in the flyleaf. No, please. <laughs> Are you waiting for the same bus I am, 6 o'clock, gate 4? No. No, that's bad luck. Thought we could be traveling partners. I, uh, oh, uh-huh. I have about 30 minutes. That's when my bus leaves. Do you mind? Well, you're not really giving me much choice. I thought at least we could, uh, talk. Sorry, I don't talk to strangers. Oh, but you should. Strangers are the only ones you know nothing about. That's what makes them so interesting. Don't you ever give up? No, I guess not. How about a cup of coffee? Might be sorry. You might even miss your bus. Might be worth it. I doubt that. Very much. Shall we? Oh, may I? Thank you. Well, this is the moment I've been waiting for to tell you the story of my life. Is that the price of the coffee? I'm sorry. I've enjoyed the coffee. Maybe I'll enjoy the story of your life. In how many chapters? As a matter of fact, the most important chapter starts when I get to meet Brooke. That's where I get off. I look around. I won't know a soul. No one will know me. It'll be a place full of strangers. Strangers. No ties, no strings, no pressure. The perfect escape. No one to worry about but myself. Each new day, a new life, without the burden of continuity or convention. Places with no yesterdays. That could be pretty exciting, don't you think? I'm not sure. How about you? Any ties? Some. Husband? Three children. I, I'm a widow. Oh. Sorry, the war? Business. Accident? He's not really dead. Only to me. Oh. Children hardly know him. Do you have a family? Oh, yes. Wives, kids. They all adore me. Only your wife misunderstands you. 
Not at all. She doesn't agree with me all the time, but she certainly does understand me. She's a lovely girl. In a weak moment, I allowed her to marry me, and now I'm doing the right thing by leaving her. Why do you tell this to me? I don't know. Your coffee's getting cold. Look, I lied to you. I am taking that bus. To Meadbrook? Yes. What do you know about Meadbrook? <laughs> Nothing. It's my first trip. Why are you going there, if I may ask? Oh, it's the end of the line. Where the bus stops, everybody gets out there. No. Oh. What's the story of your life? I could tell it to you in two words. Two words must be very powerful to sum up a whole life. Oh, wait a minute. I'm still on the young side. <laughs> Look, I'd, uh... I'd like to know you. My name's Fleet Manson. No. It'll just lead to all the things you don't want. Ties, strings, even involvement. Hmm. But your whole life, two words. Two words, five letters. What are they? Bus for Meadbrook. Bus for Meadbrook. Leaving immediately. Gate four. We'll be late. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Two words, five letters. I've got to know. All right, then. For what it's worth in two words... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Waitress. Wait a minute, please. You forgot your luggage. Bus for Meadbrook. Bus for Meadbrook. Leaving immediately. Have you checked this ticket? What's wrong with it? Wrong? There's nothing wrong with it. It's to Meadbrook, end of the line. But I asked for a one-way ticket. That's a round trip, isn't it? Round trip? Oh, no, it couldn't be. You don't go back from Meadbrook. I don't want to go back. They just sold me the wrong ticket, that's all. That is round trip, isn't it? Well, that's what it says. It's not what it means, though. Be all right if there was some place to go. <laughs> Nobody could find a place to go, though. Oh, they looked high and low. But you can't find a place that's not there. Say that again. Round trip to nowhere. That's what they sold you. Oh, what's going on? This is a fraud, an out-and-out -out fraud. Where's the boss? Where's the boss in Meadbrook? Well, where is he? He's got to be someplace. That's what they all say out there. It could be. I don't know. I'd just tell him to take a seat and wait. You might as well join him. Well, what's your complaint? Oh, I'm not complaining. I've never traveled by bus before, and I like it. Well, that's a matter of taste. Yes, very much. This is my first vacation in ten years, and I'm going to make the most of it. I just wanted you to know that. Excuse me. Did you buy a round trip? Well, yes, I certainly hope so. May I see your ticket? Yes, of course. Yes, I have to be back in five months. That's what they owe me, you know. I haven't had a vacation in ten years. Is there something wrong? You came to the wrong place. Maybe you don't care, but there's no round trip from here. Ask him. I've got my ticket, and I'm going to keep it. Tell your boss I'm waiting to see him. There are a lot of things to straighten out. I'll do that. When I find him. Where'd you pop up? How'd you get here? What happened? We must have lost each other. Look for you high and low. Which bus did you take? I beg your pardon. What? Marsha. Don't you know my name? Well, is this a joke? Who gave you my name? Well, we've been through all this before. The book, your name's on the flyleaf. But your name is Marsha. How did you know it? Well, how else would I know your name if I hadn't seen it or heard it? And the book you're reading, Philosophy. 
That proves something, doesn't it? This happens to be a mystery. The only type of book I enjoy. It's very exciting. to run away. I hope he's not been worrying you. Oh, that's all right. He's just a kid. I have to hold his hand all the time. If I close my eyes, he's gone. Gets into all kinds of trouble, too. Been that way for 20 years. 20 years? Mm-hmm. Come along now. Keep hold of my hand and don't let go. She said she'd been holding that kid's hand for 20 years. And she wasn't joking. Don't go. Please don't go. There's something strange going on here. Something very strange. And you can be very annoying. I don't mean to be. Really, I don't. Now, please. We've met. I'm positive we've met. I... As a matter of fact, this piece of luggage is yours. Well, if it's mine, what are you doing with it? I've been carrying it for you. It isn't mine. Well, certainly it is. Don't you remember we were having coffee? Never drink it. Now, look. You have three kids, right? I know the world is mad, but it can't be that bad. Can you look at me and honestly say you've never seen me before? I certainly can. Then what are you doing in this place? Why are you here? I'm waiting to get out. Now, will you please stop bothering me? Well, how do you plan on getting out? There's no bus leaving. It's a fraud. It's nothing but a fraud, an out-and-out -out fraud. You're not getting out, or is anybody else. There's no bus leaving. That's ridiculous. I, I have my round-trip ticket. Well, so have I. So have they, all of them. I'll tell you what it means. Exactly nothing. There's no bus leaving, and that's the fraud. Now, what time do you think your bus leaves? There isn't even any time here. You see what you're up against? The whole thing is a fraud. Listen to me, everybody. Don't you realize this is a fraud? It's an out-and-out -out fraud. The whole thing is a fraud. It's a fraud. I'm trying to tell you, don't you understand? It's a fraud! A fraud! Does it mean anything to you? Can you hear me? I'm getting out of here. Let me out of here! Open the door! Will somebody please open this door? No, Flea, that's not the way. Who are you? Look at me. You do know me, don't you? No. We've known each other a long time. For as long as you've been living. Father, what are you doing here? Came along with you. This is Meadbrook, son. Father, this place is a fraud. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. You're right. Quite a fraud. I didn't expect to see you here. Well, you didn't really expect to see the others, did you? Father, where is this place? I didn't plan to come here intentionally. I wasn't particular. I just wanted to get away from everybody. Oh, I know. That's why they sold you a ticket to Meadbrook. I never heard of it before. Coming up on the bus, looked on the map, no such place. Everybody has his own Meadbrook. You can't get away. What are you talking about? It's your dream, Fleet. The dream of every man. But it's a false dream. The place is full of strangers. You said. No ties, no strings, no pressure. The perfect escape. But you can't escape from people. For you are a part of everyone you have ever known. And everyone you have ever known is a part of you. How can you escape from yourself? You can. So what becomes of Meadbrook? It is the place that isn't there. Only you are there. You and all the others who came with you. What are they all waiting for? For you. They all came with you. They will all leave with you. There is no way you can get rid of them until you recognize your obligations. Recognize them. They can't leave. Neither can you. I'm afraid that's about all I can tell you, Fleet. You'll have to figure out the rest for yourself. One or two of the faces did look familiar. Marcia? Marcia?
Cowell. Thank you, Fleet. I thought you'd forgotten me. Brewster. And I've been waiting quite a while, too, Fleet. Marsha! Ah. Oh, no, you don't, young man. There's no need to run away now. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Quite a problem, Miss Proctor. You've had your hands full, I can see that. He's given you quite a beating. He doesn't mean anything by it. You know what boys are. After 20 years, you shouldn't be holding his hand. He should learn to handle himself. He should be mighty grateful to you. I'm not expecting anything. Nevertheless, Miss Proctor, thank you. Thank you. That's the least I can say. Owens. I knew you'd be back. You old rascal, why didn't you speak up? You were never scared of me. I knew you could handle it. It's really quite simple. All right, how do I get out of here? Straight ahead. Just keep going. Out the door, that's all. The door's locked. Who's got the key? You have it. You had it all the time. The door isn't locked. You opened it when you realized that we are all a part of your life. There's no escape from any of us. Now we can all leave. All who came with you. You brought us, you take us away. Now you know who the boss of Meadbrook is. home early? Yes, I, uh, how are the kids? In the playroom, the little imps. <laughs> angels, my dear. All kids are angels. Maybe, but those three of yours certainly wore me out today. Nanny, how long has it been since you had a vacation? Uh, Mr. Manson, I don't know. Could it be about, oh, ten years? Must be close to it. <laughs> we'll fix that. Hi. Well, you're home early. This is a surprise. Anything wrong? Oh, I couldn't find you at meet. I missed you. All day at the office, I missed you. It's nice to hear that, even if I don't believe it. I can't compete with your old business, so I don't even try. Well, do, will you? Please try. I'll even help you. Dearest, it's been a long time since you've talked like this. Marcia, don't ever hang up on me again. Darling, of course I wouldn't. But you did. Oh, you thought that... No, we were disconnected. I tried to call you back, but all your lines were busy. Let me fix you a drink. How's your philosophy coming along? Want the truth? Oh, Fleet, I must be stupid or something. I think I'd better go back to my whodunits. I just can't understand all that highbrow stuff. Understanding anything is quite a problem. It's really a full-time job. You know, Marcia, I've been thinking about a little trip. How about a vacation? Oh, that'd be wonderful. But can you get away? Who'd look after your business? Well, Father, he knows more about it than anybody else. Where'll we go? Darling, have you ever heard of a place called Meadbrook? Meadbrook? Sounds familiar. Where is it? I hope you never find out. Ladies and gentlemen, we in Four Star Playhouse and all the members of the singer organization thank you for being with us this evening. We hope you enjoyed the play. And we hope you'll be with us again next week. Thank you and good night.